Ferb Jr. here. Gonna be doing some Duolingo right now. Hey, that's me. Those are all my pictures. That's the screenshot I made for the opening. Oh, uh, anyway, gonna go to Duolingo. I'm studying Spanish, but I was looking through this earlier and they have Klingon listed as a language. That I, would, I think that would be awesome to learn Klingon. But there's not a whole lot of Klingons in which, with which to converse. So that's why I'm learning Spanish. Because I know a lot of people who solamente habla espanol. Like my, I got one of my, I have a tenant who keeps goats on my property. And uh, so, David solamente habla espanol. It's very difficult to communicate with them about things that I, because I want to increase my level of fluency so I can talk to him about things that are important to his goat's health and myself, my property. Oh, we have a viewer in the chat. I'm going to check on you. Okay, so it could be any one of these people. Casino, thanks. Go with him. Ice Wizards, Industrial Parasite, or let's do this music. So thanks for being here. All right, so today I'm going to be doing the third lesson on level zero in the 2B section. So let me make a note of that in my notebook. Duolingo. 2B. Level zero. Lesson three. All right, let's see how we do. Usually I don't do very well on 2B because it's hard for me. Okay, so I'm going to start now. Complete the sen sentence. Don de blank camareros. Where are the waiters? Los camareros are important. Okay, let's look at the rules. Let's talk about ser versus estar. Use forms of ser for descriptions of people and things. El gato es negro. Use forms of estar for temporary states of being and locations. El gato está contento. El gato está en la mesa. Okay, so. Ser for descriptions of people and things. Estar for temporary states of being and locations. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, back to the lesson. Donde están los camareros? Los camareros son importantes. I think that's right. Están. Son. Turn up the V's. Got it right. Where are the waiters? Waiters are important. No blank nervioso en esta clase. No blank. So this is a uh, temporary state, uh, emotion or a temporary state of being. Okay, so it's going to be a star, the a star form. So it's going to be a estoy. No estoy nervioso en este clase, which means no, I am not nervous in this class. Awesome, but it doesn't tell you that. Okay, complete the translation. School is important. La escuela está importante. Let's see. School is important. That never changes, I guess. So that's the key. Let's find out. Sarah for descriptions of people and things. The description. Okay. And so it's not. Okay. So it's going to be S. Yeah, so I think it's going to be La Escuela es Importante, I'm guessing. Yes, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Ellos están en el parque. Ellos están ocupados. Let's listen to that again. Ellos están en el parque. Ellos están ocupados. Es Ellos. Están. Están. En el parque. El parque. Ellos. Ellos. Están. Ocupados. 
So let's listen to it again, make sure I got it right. Ellos están en el parque. Ellos están ocupados. Ellos están en el parque. Ellos están ocupados. They are in the park. They are busy. I think I'm kind of getting this finally. You are lazy. You are tired today. You, so let's look at the rules. Forms of ser for descriptions of people and things. Okay, so I think that they're talking about a, a, the form of ser for the lazy guy. So it's going to be soy. Yo soy perezoso. I am soy. I am lazy. Yo estoy cansado estoy. hoy. Yes, I am lazy. I am very tired today. We're in this together. You're practicing Spanish with 338,371 other learners right now. Tu blank aquí. You are, are, are you here? Tu, okay. Ser. Okay, so it's temporary, so it's going to be, are you here? Because you don't have to be here. Use the forms of a star for temporary states of being and location. So it's going to be the estar form, which is going to be, sorry, estas. Tu estas aquí? Yeah. Okay, where is the fitting room? Donde? Blank el probador. I'm going to say esta. Donde esta. Oh, sorry. Not es esta. Esta el probador. Yes. Donde, oh, I got the accent wrong. Donde esta el probador. La puerta, the door, is abierta. La puerta es uh, the door is open. The door is red. So red is the description. And it's going to be the ser form. La puerta está abierta. La puerta es roja. Es. Yes, the door is open. The door is red. I'm excited about that. That man is blonde. Ese hombre Uh, esta rubio. Let me just check. That's a non temporary son. I think son, but I can't be sure. Uh, this is going to be something I struggle with. So I'm going to say son rubio. El es mi marido. He is my husband. Okay, and so of course it has the translation right there, and I'm trying to figure it out on my own. The man is blonde. That man, ese hombre son rubio. Check. No, es rubio. My bad. I knew it was the ser form. I just didn't know what that form was. So, <laughs> oh, so hard. Four hearts left. Fill in the blank. Mi amigo Hector está muy inteligente. Oh, no bueno. Tu blank muy importante. You, tu eres muy importante. That's the ser form. So, well, let's check. Every time I don't check, I get it wrong. So I'm going to keep checking until I get it right. Let's talk about ser versus a star. Use forms of ser for descriptions of people and things. So, if you are important, that's a, that's a description. And it's also not temporary. So it's going to be the ser form. Tu eres muy eres. importante. Cuando no estás ocupado. When aren't you busy? Estás. You are important. When aren't you busy? I got it right. Woo! So Ellos cool. son inteligentes. Ellos son estudiantes. Ellos son inteligentes. Ellos son estudiantes. They are 
are intelligent, they are students, and I knew that. Those pen, these pens are yellow. Estos bolígrafos. It's a form of. Uh, of ser, so s, or. Uh, El gato es negro. There. I, need, Sir. I need help with the conjugations, but I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to guess. Esto, estos bolígrafos son amarillos, I'm guessing. Yes, I guessed right. Wow. I feel good about that. Ese sombrero no blank azul. No es azul? Yeah, I guessed right again. Este vestido. This is this dress. Or, is it dress or skirt? I think it's a skirt. Is this skirt Mexican? Este vestido es mexicano. Yes. Five in a row. Can I touch ice cream? Yes. Ask Mabel if she wants some ice cream too. Okay. And mom. I'll get some when I come out. I'm just doing my Spanish right now. I'll be out in a couple of minutes. That was my daughter. Furbom. Yo blank emocionada hoy. Yo soy. Soy. Soy is temporary, yeah? No, that's a description. I lied. Yo soy. Estoy. Emocionada hoy. Yo soy joven. Joven. I am young, which is temporary. Soy. That's weird, because being young is temporary. But being excited is also temporary. But I got it right, so I don't really care. Ellas son inteligentes. Ellas son inteligentes. Yes. Son. Ellas son inteligentes. Inteligentes. Ellas son inteligentes. Good. They are intelligent. I got it right. Okay. Complete the translation. He is born. L. Es Rubio. Eight in a row. That man is blonde. Ese hombre es rubio. El es mi marido. Mi amigo Héctor es muy inteligente. Yeah. All right. 14-day streak. Congrats on using Duolingo for 14 days in a row. Awesome. Okay, well, I don't really have time to do the rest of this streaming right now, so I'm going to finish up the rest of and meet my experience point goals for the day when I'm offline. But I really want to say thank you very much for joining us, for joining me, and being part of my, I feel like, Everyone that watches me is like cheering me on. I had a really nice person commenting in the chat trying to help me out with the lesson. And that meant a lot to me. It's been kind of a struggle here. Um, there's a lot going on in my household. As you can tell from me trying to get my house in order. It is a mighty struggle to get people to help. Uh, so I feel supported by you guys. And I want to say thanks. I'm going to close the stream now, so have a nice night. Bye.